hot color, so this is cool. Hello DOA friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is another exciting episode of Love It All Thrifted. Now this is a series where I take furniture pieces from your home that you have fallen out of love with, a piece where you've thought to yourself, I love you, but you just don't work in this home and you're fighting this internal battle to either keep it because it's functional for you or thrift it away and maybe you just find something new. It's hard because sometimes it's just not what you ultimately want aesthetically, but it's so functional. So my goal is to take your furniture pieces and make you love it again. And then at the end, I will present this newly transformed piece and it'll be then you can finally decide if you are officially going to love it again or if you will thrift it away and that's okay too. <laughs> but before we get started, if you are new to this channel, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and join this marvelous Creative Beast community. We do all things home and DIY and sometimes we can get a bit weird, but we love weird here. So with that said, let's get into this thrift flipping special. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Okay, so let's meet who we are transforming this piece for. Meet Joanna, a talented musician slash composer from Toronto, Canada. I'm Joanna Mills from Toronto, Ontario, and I'm a musician composer. So Joanna lives in a beautiful, traditional Victorian style home at downtown Toronto, which means high ceilings and lovely ornate plaster details. Literally my dream. But her entryway console table, an Ikea Hems Classic, is super functional, but not vibing with her style at all. I just don't know why. I cannot figure out what to do with that. And so I was really just gonna get rid of it and look for something else that I could put there that kind of inspired me or grabbed my attention, but I just can't find anything that's the right size. Function is really important for this piece, which is why I haven't gotten rid of it. And the style of the house has kind of evolved over the you know 25 years that we've been here. So the front of the house, we have um, like a more formal living room. And then the back of our house, is way more cottagey kind of feeling. We have tin painted tin ceilings and the family room has slightly more contemporary kind of furniture and some natural finishes like stone and wood and stuff like that. So I kind of want the entryway to somehow combine those two things. Yeah, you know what? I totally understand why Joanna doesn't want to get rid of this console table. It is a really great size for that entryway. And I can understand why she's having a hard time finding the direction on this piece. I mean, having so many different styles evident throughout the home, we have hints of modern, there's kind of contemporary parts, there's vintage, there's cottage core. I mean, how could you pick a direction? It definitely needs, because it's under this gold mirror, like it needs more more interesting knobs. So I would like it to be not the wood color it is. I'm open to painting it 100%. It has these baskets in the top that were made to fit in it, like they're Ikea baskets. And they just give it this weird coastal vibe. I don't know. <laughs> It doesn't work. Now they just started DIYing the stairs. They're painting the steps black and then keeping the risers wood, which I think is gonna look beautiful in this entryway. And then in their front living room there, they have dark navy blue. So taking all this information in, um, I think I kind of have a breakdown of what I wanna focus on for this piece. We are getting rid of the wood tone and creating a visual connection to her dark stair tops by painting this piece a beautiful black. We're going to remove the baskets and build in two work drawers instead and contrast the black console with walnut wood drawer fronts. On the doors, I'm going to take away the shaker style aspect and add a decorative trim inside it that's going to give the door frame a completely new look. Then to celebrate the vintage, we'll add some beautiful vintage brass hardware and you know how a good shoe always makes an outfit. Well, I feel the same way about furniture feet, so I want to complete the console by adding new decorative feet that fall in line with her love of contemporary style and just give this piece a little bit of flair in a non flary way. So that's that's my plan. I'm hoping everything is going to go well and I hope that she loves it. But in the meantime, I got to go get my materials because we need to get started on this project. I'll meet you in the workshop. <laughs> okay, friends, I just got back from all of my material shopping. We also have the piece in house. It's missing two drawers, but I wanted to bring two of the drawers just in case if I needed them. So we have two of them here, but this is it. 
This is it in the flesh. It's a, it's a great piece. And you know what? I'm so happy it's made of wood. I know I keep saying that, but it's a good piece. It's solid. Like all of the hardware looks really good and it's in good shape. So I think we're going to be in good shape, but let me show you where I'm working because it's not the typical space. So let's walk outside. Yes, I know. <laughs> So I have currently a giant tent set up in my backyard. Check this out. We got a miter saw set up over here. We got a work table here. We have my table saw here, which is very exciting because this is a brand new tool in the tool tent, so to speak. Um, this is a compact saw that was sent to me by Saw Stop. So thank you so much. This thing is amazing, friends. Uh, it's got a built-in safety that uh, if the blade comes in contact with skin, this thing will immediately shut down. Now, if you're like me and the table saw is very intimidating to you, then a saw stop might be the tool for you. Honestly, it just with that built-in safety guard, it just makes me feel that much safer when I'm doing my DIY project. So I have linked it in my description box. If you want to go check it out, I highly recommend it. This is a great tool and it's just got all the bells and whistles. I can't say enough. Let's move on with our tour. Um, over here, we have a beautiful setup of a tool table. Wow. <laughs> and then behind me, we have a buttload of insulation. Woohoo! So all of the garage insulation is curr currently being kept in our backyard. We just, we don't have anywhere to put it right now. Um, the front yard is being taken over by construction. So this is, this is where it's staying. So we get to look at this wonderful line of red. It's, it's glorious, truly. Okay, so the first thing I wanna move on to is focusing here. So I wanna build the drawers that are going to be set into here. So we're gonna do a drawer here and we're gonna do a drawer here. Inside the drawer, we're gonna cut it in half so that you have two little cubbies, but upon appearance, it's gonna look like just two long drawers. I kinda of like that a little bit better. I think it gives it a much nicer modern feel. And uh, what I have is two sliders. These are 10 inch that are gonna fit into this perfectly. So first we need to build the drawers. I'm gonna build it out of three quarter inch plywood. And then I have a little quarter inch MDF sheet that's gonna be base the base of the drawer. I wanna do all the construction first, get that ready, and then we can prep this thing for painting. So let's go cut some wood and let's build some drawers. Woohoo! <laughs>
video, my friends. The drawers are finished. Honestly, I think this is my best drawer build yet. And I can't say if it's because of a really great table saw or maybe my skills are just getting better and I'm learning from my mistakes, but this all went very smoothly. Knock on wood but <laughs> really happy with this. I'm happy I was able to get this done today. Um, it's a good first day. So tomorrow we just keep moving and we'll see where we get. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Good morning, friends. I had to take the morning to figure out the drawer. I just needed to know that it fit and that it was going to work out. Both drawers are absolutely identical in size. So I figured if I if one worked, then the other is gonna work and I feel confident proceeding because if anything needed to change, uh, now would have been the time. So learning from my mistakes, making sure I'm dry fitting and fitting everything up before I start painting and making it all look nice, but this looks great. This works. It's it's a drawer. She drawers. Um, so I'm super happy with that. It's funny. I was thinking that this kept this keeps popping out a little bit, and I was like, why is it doing that? But then I remembered that my studio space is slanted, so I like lifted it forward, and it stops doing that. So I'm like, oh okay, great. Love that for me. I need to sand this entire thing down. Just not a very like heavy sand, just a 220. Um, I'm just gonna hit the whole thing, doors included. I gotta take this apart, take the hardware off, then sand it, um, and then we are going to prime everything. The other thing we need to do is fill in all of the dents and holes with a really good wood fill. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that, you know, everything looks nice and smooth and brand new again so that when we do go paint this, it's gonna look real slick. And on top of that, then we also need to add the trim in and around the door. I need to remove these kind of little lines here because I want them to disappear and only to see the trim detail. So we're gonna need to add the trim. I'll show you what that looks like in just a bit. And then once we've done that, then we sand and then we prime. So we have a busy day ahead of us. Let's get going. Okay, so I just moved into the studio space because now that I have the doors kind of being prepped, I wanna get the trim piece that's gonna fit inside it. So check this out. I actually found this teeny tiny little trim at the hardware store. It's a quarter inch by 716 by four inch piece of trim. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these pieces on 45 degree angles and I'm just going to sit it inside this frame and we will brad nail it in with just a small little brad nail and that's it. Um, after that, I'm just gonna fill in the little gap here with some wood fill and then we can basically start sanding. I'm going to start cutting this up and uh, we'll see if it works. Cross fingers, because <laughs> if it does, this is a very simple mini transformation um, with big impact. Let's do it. Ta -da!
Okay, so the cabinet fronts are done. While we're waiting on those to dry, I got a 220 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna sand this bad boy down, um, get all the nooks and crannies and just give something for that primer to really attach to. So uh, let's go sand. <laughs> friends well we are primed sealed and delivered well not delivered and it's not sealed but we are primed <laughs> I still need to paint the backside of the doors and the shelves but I can do that off camera tonight and then tomorrow we have a very exciting day we're gonna start the day uh, going to find the antique hardware for this piece I'm so excited uh, and then we're gonna paint this piece so I can't wait let's get to tomorrow I'll see you then Good morning, friends. It's a good day today. I'm so excited. We're going antique hardware shopping. So exciting. ones with the little keyholes and then um, I think we'll be a-okay where is it yeah these that's nice right okay so we just got back guys I need to show this to you look how beautiful these little vintage poles are I love so much and you know what with the little keyholes I think that's so cute it's gonna be such a nice little like I don't know personality piece to add to this especially on that wonderful walnut that's gonna be there oh it's like oh I can't wait we need to start painting though let's put the hardware obsession aside and let's start painting what I have here uh, is a cabinet paint I knew this entryway was going to be high traffic I really wanted something that's durable Joanna has students coming in for her music class lessons and like, you know, shoes are going in and out of this thing. So honestly, I really wanted something durable. So this was the best case scenario. And I went with the color, what's this called? Midnight Dream. So it actually has a little bit of like a navy blue undertone to the black. So I figured this is like meeting in the middle with that navy blue that's in her living room and then the black that's in the entryway. So, so excited. Oh.
taking quite some time, I must say, making sure that we're like really getting in every nook and cranny and we're doing double coats on everything. But I wanna get started on the legs, so check this out. I love these. I think they have such a unique shape. I think they kind of feel a little traditional um, and they kind of match the piece that was in Joanna's living room, that this big cabinet that she loved. So I kind of wanted to mimic that a little bit, having a little bit of fun but I don't wanna keep it wood, so I am gonna paint this up black, the same color as the cabinets. I thought about maybe playing with a little bit of wood, but I, I just think that it's gonna be better if we paint them, so I'm gonna paint these up, but this is from a, an Etsy company called Bleg, <laughs> which I love the name, and uh, honestly, a great, great price, great product, really happy with these. there <laughs> okay so the exterior extremities were working against me it was producing some white flaky stuff I'm pretty sure it was from my tent so I had to bring this piece inside because I am doing something unorthodox well maybe it's not unorthodox it's unorthodox for me at least I really really wanted to bring out kind of like the dark nature of this cabinet. And I also really wanted to make it really nice and buttery and smooth and really kind of play with texture. So for the exterior of this, we're actually gonna go in with a wax seal. By putting this black on top, it's really giving this piece of like some extra texture, some extra depth, and you'll see, trust me. So we're gonna trust the process on this. I'm gonna start putting some wax on the side here and you can see how it's really gonna change this piece and really darken it. It's gonna be beautiful, I promise. Trust me, let's do it. friends everything feels and looks so buttery smooth and it just has this like really nice texture it's so deep oh I love it but I want to show you something check this out so this is a beautiful walnut piece of lumber I have two of these and I'm so ecstatic once we get this with like a nice oil on top and then this like nice little antique hardware piece it's gonna look so good I'm like I can't wait to bring this piece together today but with these walnut fronts um, I do need to route two little slots on the side on the back because it just needs to sit properly into the drawer front like into this piece here sorry about the lighting but basically there's a little notch here that we need to make and then there's a little notch for here that we need to make so I need to do that and then on top of that I kind of want to take away the hard line here this is it looks a little bit more modern if we keep those hard edges but I kind of want to just give it a teeny tiny little detail so we're gonna get the router out and we're gonna just fix these two fronts up all nice and then we can basically just start putting this whole thing together which is insane to think um, it's been an amazing couple days bringing this piece together oh there's Kenobi um, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. So let's go out to the she shack. I've like, <laughs> I've carved out a small little area in the she shack that we can do the routing um, because I don't want all the sawdust in and around here right now. That's the last thing we need is the sawdust sticking to the wax. It's pretty dry right now, but it's still curing. So I really want to be careful. So let's go to the she shack. Let's get these uh, two walnut fronts prepped and then let's see this piece transform.
using a new bit just to give a little curved edge on the front. So this guy, I'm just, I just entered it just a little bit. So it's not an extreme curve. It's just a teeny tiny one and it's gonna take away that hard edge. And what's nice about these bits is that it has a guide. So you really can't screw it up because all you need to just make sure is this is butted up against the side of the board and this will do all the work for you. It's excellent. Let's do it. final stretch of this DIY. We just need to get the back on, get the doors on, get the shelves in, install the drawers, and then install the drawer fronts all before the end of this day. So no horsing around, let's get going. changed my mind about the hardware. I don't know, there's like something about it is just not sticking with me right. It just, I'm just not sure that this is the style it's meant to be. And then I remember I had these guys, I thrifted these, and I just think it's a little bit cleaner and aligned with the kind of style we're going for. I don't know. I feel like we might have be torn in the comments. Some of you are gonna be like, no, stay with the old hardware. But I really think that this is the way to go. I truly believe it in my soul, in my creative heart, that this is the route we need to go. So we're doing it. Okay, friends, we just got to Joanna's. I have Holly with me. We got Josh in the back. Ooh. We have the piece in the back and we are so ready. So let's get this piece into Joanna's and cross fingers that she likes it. I'm like kind of nervous. Every time we do this, I get so nervous. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be fine. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. She's gonna love it. It's all set up. We're about to reveal it to them and I'm I'm nervous. I'm sweating in weird places. Oh, I think they just got here. Okay, let's do this. Are you ready? Before you look, I want you both to remember what that piece looked like. It was pine. We had orange. It lacked personality, it lacked your style. You wanted a bit of traditional, a little vintage. You wanted it to be a little bit darker. I feel like I brought everything you wanted and more. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. On three. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, oh wow! My God! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
It's got feet. I added new feet, it which looks so good. Right? It just feels like it was meant to be on that piece. I wanted to bring some vintage -y elements on there, so the hardware with the brass, the knobs, and then I know you wanted to get rid of the baskets. I know like you kept saying you really love a modern touch, but you weren't sure how to bring that modern in by bringing in the walnut. I think it just really contrasted against the black. I love that you did that. It looks so <gasps> good. And you're right, it looks so great with the stairs. It feels like what it just transitions quite <laughs> nicely. Yeah. On top of that, I'll show you. So your drawer has- Oh, oh my God. Awesome. It's sectioned, because I know you want, had different purposes for we this. So I sectioned did. it out. So you have, you still have all that cubby that you asked for, but it's, it's just done in a different way. Right? So you are a genius. <laughs> that is amazing. Now, there was one thing you talked about, shoe storage and everything, and then you said this side could be rearranged. I'm gonna say I suggest that you turn both the bottoms into shoe storage and find new homes for what was in here. And we already did. Oh, I love that. Okay, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so I guess that leads to the last question. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to thrift it? I'm gonna love it. <laughs> I love it. It's so amazing. Woohoo! That's never going anywhere. Yes! <laughs> DOI friends, thank you so much for watching this episode of Love It or Thrift It. You guys should let me know would you have loved it or would you have thrifted it away? Comment down below. Of course, sending so much love to my Patreon family if you are looking for a place of DIYers to give you advice, for you to give advice, or you're just looking for a gang of people who love to hang out and DIY together, then my Patreon is the place for you. Check it out in my description box. And of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.